Welcome to the whole tip daily. Globalist agenda got you down? Man, I hear ya. I thought the takedown of our nation and the world was going to be eventful and keep me on my toes, but all it is is like getting babysat by a rude ass schizophrenic shrill trying to convince me of the darnest things. We've had it. This is no way to live. I'm not liking the direction things are headed in. I know I'm not the only one. Talking a big game is one thing, but action is where we gotta take it if we really want things to get going. No, big brother. Before you go underlining my name on your nifty little list, I'm not talking about throwing some mostly peaceful protests. Well, you call those something else when it goes against your agenda. Anyway, what I'm talking about is five things that could make life better for the world. Five ways to defeat the globalist agenda. Let's dive in. We're burning daylight here. One, we gotta take the power away from the money printers. They've got too much of it. They are the ones able to buy off anyone they so please and have the front men do whatever dirty work they want. They are the ones greatly decreasing the value of your savings and they're doing it on purpose. Who are they? What do they want? My guess would be to be the ones that own everything and rent it out to us plebs. Power is a hungry monster in some people and if it's not ripped out and slaughtered, the hunger won't stop growing. It's high time we cut off their supply. How so? Off the top of my head here is a new currency within local communities. It's not some fringe idea. It's been done before and remains in the works in some places. Also, good for emergencies like that recession you keep hearing about. I'm sure you guys have some more ideas in those pretty little heads of yours. Put those thinkers to use and end the destructive power play these creeps keep flexing. Two would be to actually hold politicians accountable. How can we ever live in a functioning just society when our leaders, more like leeches, can go on a killing spree, mass murdering the elderly, and remain in power. That's just one example of the shady shitpole, and their classic move is to distract with some other lame scandal. And no politician here should ever be able to walk freely after taking away Americans' rights. We've gone soft, guys. These sellouts gotta pay for all of their crimes against humanity. If real consequences were threatening them, these bitches would straighten out real quick. Right now, they think they are untouchable. You might be asking, girl, how? We all want them arrested or at least punished for their actions, but we're not the ones running the show. Excellent point. It brings me to item number three. A lot of people don't have faith in our voting system. I get it, but hey, I think for now at least, local elections are a little safer. Run for office. Get in there and get her done. Might I direct your attention to number four, which is supporting alternative media and social media. If you have any ability left to think for yourself, it's a no-brainer that the mainstream media has a clear agenda and absolutely no problem telling lie after lie. They aren't totally useless though. By lying so often, they point us in the direction of the truth. Like, if they hate something or someone, that's a bit of an indicator that it might be good for us and go against their nasty agenda. Just saying. We also gotta be supporting and getting on alternative social media because censorship? Fuck that noise. Last Last, but certainly not least, we've got to put our money where our mouth is, guys. Numero five, boycott businesses that feed and support the globalist agenda. Stop funding your own demise. Don't give your money to people who are going to use it to enslave you. Jeez Louise. Educate yourself. Look up a product before you buy something. The answers may shock you. It'll be tough to find brands that aren't working towards a globalist dystopia, but it's worth it. That's my spiel. Don't forget to keep it real. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.